you'll just watch, bear with me and watch me, then, then you can do the whole thing all at once. And um, we're going to put them all in the same direction. Hi. hi. So like you're combing, what is but this? you're not combing. It's actually combing them. You're laying them out. Yeah, so we're going to make one direction that way. And then I'm going to go the other direction with this one. Nice and feathery. It's kind of like um, laying out roofing material because you just slightly overlap each one. Like so. And then a third layer. And I think I'll put some more of this on. Spread it out. Now, is each layer going a different direction? They're going one layer this way, this way, and then back this way. Okay, and then I'm going to take and I'm going to cover the rock. You want at least three layers, at least three layers. This one only has two, and you can see where this wool pulled away, so you can't, this one would be impossible to cut off and have anything worthwhile if you wanted to make a bag. So I'm going to um, kind of sort of mush it around gently, and I'm probably going to put a little extra where there seems to be thin spots. And then on this one, I'm going to grab some of this one. I'm going to wrap it. It helps to hold it in place, and it creates a little extra interest, as you can see on the one that I, the sample that I have. You can use some of these larger yarns if you want. Um, that, that'll work too. And then I'm going to take my water, which is still warm. I'm going to get that off of the tray. Oh, sorry. Is it soapy or just? It is soapy. I put a little palm olive in it. Okay. Do you always dish soap or like uh -huh. from the water? You can use olive oil soap which is the traditional olive oil. Donkey milk soap. So you get it, hmm? I have donkey milk soap. Have you heard of that? No. I got it from layman's. It's really quite good. One of the things I do sometimes if I'm going to roll it a lot, so I take some of this netting and wrap it around. It'll help hold the wool in place real tight and then you start rubbing now you don't want to rub too much but you got to get it started with the felting this is the muscle part so it's clean work but it's um <laughs> but it takes energy takes you back to the way your par your, your you grandparents used to, used to do the laundry yeah exactly so because I don't want it to stick to the netting, I'm going to take it off gently. So As you can see, the fiber started started. going through the netting. And do some more. Do it again. Oh, you still use the netting. Use the netting to keep those fibers in place. Otherwise, rubbing on this, you're going to get lots of pieces just coming uh, away from it. And you want to rub it on as many sides of the stone as you possibly can. So you can get it started. To, um, and you'll see that it's starting to felt, but you've still got fibers coming away from it. And that, you want that to stop in order for it to be fully felted. Another way to do it is to rub it on there like so. But I think this one needs more net and more rubbing. So if you want to feather out your wool, um, do it in a dry spot so that, so don't do it on here. 
and then uh, then you can start with the action. Would you like a rock? Oh, I would love one. <laughs>